So about a week ago, we used an Ampere Time 50 amp hour lithium iron phosphate battery for my milk crate solar power system. But I saw some reviews on Amazon stating that the low temperature charging protection does not work. And I have no idea what they're using inside. So we're gonna do some testing today. And before I made my video, I did a capacity test and a full load discharge test, and it worked perfectly. So I'm hoping the bad reviews that I see on Amazon are because of user error. Also, after I made my video, this battery has gone up in price by $50, which is very unfortunate. This happens a lot when I make videos, the price goes up. So first, we're gonna throw this thing into a freezer. So it's been in here for eight hours and it is still charging. That's not a good sign. Actually, I think this is a case for a valve regulated sealed lead acid. One, two, three, four, five, six. So that would be six two volt cells for a 12 volt battery. Maybe the overpressure valves? I'm not sure. Man, this is ridiculous. This thing is super strong. And there's a temperature sensor on the cells. And the build quality is surprisingly good, especially for the price point of this pack. The cells are new. The balance cable is really nicely put together. The main conductors are in a sleeve. And this BMS did a good job for my high discharge rate test. So, so far it's actually a pretty nice battery. So I accidentally cut these balance cables when I was cutting the battery open. So I'm gonna repair these real quick. These terminals are on here really good with some nice lock washers. This one was tightened down really good too. 3.3, 3.3, 3.3, 3.3. We're using high quality 10 copper eight gauge wire, which is total overkill for a 50 amp battery. Right now the balance cable is still disconnected. So let's see if we have voltage. We have a very small amount of voltage. Now we have 13.3 volts. So I reattach these two balance cables and the BMS is active. So now we're gonna isolate the temperature sensor and see if the low temperature disconnect works. And unfortunately, this looks like a high temp sensor, not a low temp one. They always seem to look like this. They mount them on the FETs and the boards as well. So now we're charging this pack and we're gonna dip this temp sensor into cold water. And this ice is at seven degrees Fahrenheit and it's not stopping guys. So I'm thinking that Amazon review was 100% accurate. All right, it should have triggered by now guys. This is not good. But this does look like a high temp sensor. So let's add a heat source and see what happens. Oh, look at that. So this protects from high temperatures, but not low temperatures. All right, let's stick it back in the ice water and see what happens. Oh, look at that. So I guess my initial test was correct. It does not have low temp charging protection. What a bummer. Because honestly, the rest of this battery is actually really nice. These conductors are overkill, the build quality is good, but it doesn't have one of the most basic charging protection functions. That's unfortunate. I really wanted to recommend these batteries too. They are at a very good price on Amazon, but I, I guess I can't. But if you are absolutely certain that your battery will not be exposed to freezing cold temperatures, this battery is fine. But keep in mind that if you charge these batteries on a cold day even once, you will have permanent degradation. So keep that in mind. If you have an insulated heated box where you can throw these into, I think that it will be okay. But yeah, ah, what a bummer. Anyways, I hope you guys liked the quick video and I will talk to you later. Bye.